What is going on, everybody? My name is Sean. Welcome back to Free 99 English. In today's video, we are going to discuss the Where in the hell am I? I don't know. Alright, I gotta try and find the car. I found this trail. I don't know where the hell I ended up. <laughs> or how I got there. But, I'll find my car. That was messed up. I don't know what happened. Well, at least I found my car. <laughs> so in case you haven't figured it out, we're gonna be talking about I don't know. But we're gonna be talking about different ways to say I don't know. As an English learner, I'm sure that you've had some uncertainty when learning and you've had to use the term I don't know but if you want to spice things up sound more like a native speaker then you come to the right place I'm going to teach you some different ways to say I don't know but before I do I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already like this video if you like it if you want to show some love, comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. I'll have all the links below. There's a Facebook page also, if you want to follow that too. So let's jump right in. All right, so let's begin. First two are, I have no clue. I have no idea. I have no clue why Sally quit her job. It paid really well and had good benefits. I have no idea why Bob didn't pick up the garbage. The next one is, I haven't the foggiest idea. You're an entrepreneur at heart. You don't really know what you're doing. You're trying to open a coffee shop. I haven't the foggiest idea how to run a business. The next one is, how should I know? You're out shopping with your friends. A girl you like is trying on a dress. She turns to you. You're very excited. She says, do you think my boyfriend will like this dress? Ugh, she has a boyfriend. So of course you're a little bit annoyed. You could respond by saying, how should I know if your boyfriend's going to like it? And the next one is, beats me. You're in a marathon, you're running a race. You see the guy next to you and you know you're in better shape than him. You know you're going to win. At least finish before him. Get a better time. You run your race and you come to the finish line and there he is. How did he beat you? Beats me. Another one is, don't ask me. You're at work. You got a lot on your plate. You got a lot of stuff to get done before the end of the day. And your boss calls a meeting. You get into the meeting room, sit down, and your coworker turns to you and says, why are we having this meeting? You respond to them, don't ask me. The next one is not as far as I know. Does James have any children? Not as far as I know. He's a bachelor right now. And another good one is your guess is as good as mine. Who's going to win the World Cup this year? Who is going to win the Super Bowl? Who is going to win the Stanley Cup 
playoffs. Your guess is as good as mine. Now, one that I should have mentioned at the start, we're doing different ways to say I don't know, but there is a, you can actually say I don't know differently. Uh, when someone keeps asking you questions over and over and over and over again, you can respond back to them with annoyance by saying, I don't know. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Where are you going? I don't know. Another good one that you could use without even saying any words is, mm -hmm. everybody knows that that means I don't know. Another good one to use is, I'm not the best person to ask. It's a little bit long, but let's say Jennifer comes to you with an accounting problem. Hey, Steven, uh, I have an accounting problem and I'd like to ask you a question. You haven't got a clue about anything with, to do with accounting. Why is Jennifer even coming to you? Uh, Jennifer, I'm not the best person to ask. It basically means go ask somebody else. Now, the next two are pretty similar. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. What are the ingredients in this? I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure what the ingredients are in this. The next one is, I haven't got the faintest idea. You and your buddy Rodney are driving around in your car and he gets a flat tire. Rodney turns to you and says, Hey Sean, can you help me change the tire? You look back at him and you say, I haven't got the faintest idea how to change a tire. The next one is, why are you asking me? You're in the kitchen with your mom and your mom turns to you with a very angry face. Who didn't put the milk back in the fridge? And you can respond by saying, why are you asking me? It wasn't me that took it out. Another good one is, it's beyond me. We're going to the concert. Why did Tony turn right? The concert hall is left. It's beyond me. All right, guys, that's different ways to say I don't know. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please hit that bell for notifications. And if you're interested in learning more English, I have some more videos over here that you could watch. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.